evening, everyone, from Denver, home of the NBA champion Nuggets and finals MVP, Nikola Jokic, who faces James Harden as the Clippers search for their first win since the trade. Welcome to the NBA on TNT, presented by State Farm. Game two of tonight's coverage of the inaugural in-season tournament is the West Group B matchup between the Los Angeles Clippers and the champion Denver Nuggets. Moments ago, Nuggets head coach Michael Malone. Like we talked about a minute, they've lost five in a row. They have not won a game on the road yet. But we don't lose that home. Right? Jump on them. We know we're getting a desperate team. Jump on them, win the first quarter. Together, one, two, three. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan with the sharpshooter, the Hall of Famer, Reggie Miller. We'll check in with Chris Haynes moments from now. Why haven't the Clippers won with James Harden? And people are being extra critical <laughs> of the Clippers nowadays. 0-5 since James Harden trade. And with four future Hall of Famers in the lineup, people question, are there enough basketballs to go around? I feel the Clippers' best days are ahead of them once they define the roles on this team. As for the world champion Nuggets, they are the best and most complete team in the NBA, led by Nikola Jokic, the best player in the association. And even without the services of Jamal Murray, the Nuggets, they continue to shine because of their depth, Kevin. All right, Reg, good job. Let's take a look at our starting five for each team. They do go with Westbrook and Harden in the backcourt. George Leonard and Zubats up front. Reggie Jackson takes the place of the injured Jamal Murray. The defense of Caldwell Pope. Porter coming off a double-double. Gordon and, of course, Nikola Jokic. The Clippers really stuck their necks out. I mean, on paper, it looks like we're going to get another Hall of Famer. We're going to have them join three future Hall of Famers. It all makes sense. The one thing is, though, as people have mentioned, they all need the ball, those four great players, to be what they are. Calculated risk. And speaking with head coach Tyrone Liu, he's like, look, you're bringing in a guy, a former MVP, a perennial all-star, and what has lacked in their game so much pressure to score the basketball on Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Now you add a guy who led the league in scoring a couple times and is pretty good at dishing out 11 assists a year ago. It's an upgrade at that point guard position, Kev. Our crew chief tonight, Josh Tibben, joined by Natalie Sago, the referee, the umpire, Matt Bowen. say a word. We had him mic'd up. <laughs> and he did not say one word. That was his big chance. Here we go. We wanted to get the referee talking, folks. And we go down low, and it's Jokic and Zubac tries to defend. The big body's in there. Westbrook has it. His motor is always high RPM as he takes it the other way and meets the defensive porter. Finds Zubac. Works in on Jokic. Nicole against the rebound. He'll run it the other way. Galloping into Harden. It's out to Jackson. And now here's Gordon. Hard inside into Zubox. It's picked up by Paul George, and he'll go the other way. This is the goal to start this ball game by both teams. George puts it up and in. They like Westbrook in the starting group because he really kind of ignites the other four guys on the floor. And it's the first four minutes for Russell Westbrook. The energy. The energy he brings at both ends of the floor here to get the Clippers going, and they're going to need that. Jokic coming off a historic triple-double. Look at this. Nice pass. Cutting with Porter. Broken up by Westbrook. Look at that hustle. Nice play by Russell Westbrook. And down court. Thrown away. Harden couldn't catch up with the pass from Kawhi. We talked about the energy in the first four minutes for Westbrook. Almost created a steal up there and got it himself. The Denver Nuggets are unbeaten at home. They are 6-0. The Clippers have not won a game on the road this year, 0-5. So what you're telling me is something has to give. Something has to give. Jackson's 15-footer. Zubac's the rebound. And Russell Westbrook. Numbers are down, but he is really facilitating and gets this team going. Zubac inside over Jokic, who grabs the loose ball. Jokic the other night in Houston, 36 points, 21 rebounds, and 11 assists. We have not seen a line like that in 55 years in the NBA. He thinks three, he goes for two on the fly. Got 
the miss. Knocked it off to Gordon and over Zubox. Jokic is there. Fouled as he went up. Talking about in my open, in my opinion, the best player in the game in Jokic. And you see out here already playing volleyball to himself. Three rebounds coming off 21 rebounds just two nights ago in Houston. So that 36 21 and 11 line. The league had not seen numbers like that in 55 years since Will Chamberlain did it in 1968. <laughs> Something else. Tonight from Denver, the NBA on TNT is brought to you by the Kia Telluride X Pro. Kia is the official automotive partner of the NBA. I mean, just think about the names that Jokic is being associated with. Oh, I mean, one of the greatest centers of all time in Will. Here's Leonard at about 21 points a game. Westbrook is on top. The taller and longer Porter on him. Slithering is George down the lane, and he got to go. A start here by PG-13. Quick four for him. Gordon will take it, and Jokic on top. It's Jackson, the former Clipper. Positions for the shot from 15. How well has Reggie Jackson played? Moved into the starting lineup because of the hamstring injury to Jamal Murray. But it's affected their bench. It has, but I think it's going to make their bench better in the long run. Another turnover here by the Clippers, and here's that move by Paul George. Look at that, three mm. black jerseys around him, high off the glass for the finish. But what a smooth move he puts in there. Three minutes into the first quarter. Jokic looking down on this floor, which is all for the play at the uh, in-season tournament with George getting the missed shot. He'll set up. He'll put up a three with a whistle on Caldwell Pope on, on a three-point shot. Yes. Pope is a highly rated defender, leads Denver in steals, thought he had the kind of position he needed. But they got Paul George at the free throw line, where so far this season he is shooting 92%. KCP is having an argument with the official Natalie Sago about not giving Paul George enough landing space. That's why the foul was called. It wasn't called up top. It was called down low on the landing by PG. Paul George. Uh, Against Memphis on Sunday, a loss for the Clippers, 26 points, 7-7 seven and seven with a couple steals. He hit three threes, and he's off and running. Last year, he averaged 24 points, and he's at 23 points a game so far in the early stages of this season. Already Paul George, 7, and the Nuggets, 4. Nice start here for PG. Porter's on top. Good cut. Good feed. Jackson will finish. Jokic with the assist. You have bigs that can pass the basketball from that high post area. It just expands your, your offense, Kev. Leonard outside. Caldwell Pope got in the way. Off his hands and out of bounds. Shot clock at 15. How about the backup mm. here by Reggie, but more impressed the fine there by Jokic. Jokic with that triple-double has four triple-doubles in ten games this season so far. What a matchup here. Aaron Gordon and Kawhi Leonard. Leonard inside over Gordon. Porter has got the rebound. Michael Porter against Houston. 25 points, 10 rebounds in the loss at the Rockets. Knocked away the defense by Leonard. Here comes Westbrook. When he gets going, his first step is his quick twitch is something to watch. But to me, this is how the Clippers got to play. Create offense from your defense. Jokic bends around, pops it up, and a foul on the play as he was maneuvering to fire. Zubac picks up his first. Still there by Leonard, and it's off to the races. Get the ball to Russell in the open court and let him do the rest. Westbrook turned 35 the other day. He looks as fast now as when he was, when he was 25. <laughs> he has a loss of step as Jokic is at the free throw line and brings the Nuggets to within two. Russell Westbrook. I've always loved his game. I mean, a guy that brings it each and every night, has played through injuries, 
comes with his lunch pail and just wants to work hard. Yes, some of the skills have diminished over the years, but he just does a little bit of everything to make your team successful. Harden finding a gap, goes into Jokic. Westbrook on top, Porter is there, dive into the ramp. Picked up by Zubats and hails the ball. Harden with the three. James Harden knocks in the tray. And this is where the Clippers are going to have to get better. Knocking down that three ball. And that's what Coach Lou told us. Look, we've just missed some wide open threes. We knock those down, and it's a different story. Jokic will think a three, and it's over Zubats. Jokic now seven points, four rebounds, and two assists here early on in this first quarter. The Denver Nuggets are in first place in a tie in the Western Conference. A three right there by Jokic on TNT. quarter Chris Haynes is with you yeah I was talking with multiple Clippers players in the locker room about James Harden and there is absolutely no concern whatsoever from this group they believe that they're going to get it together and I also talked to James Harden who said he's still trying to find ways to integrate himself he doesn't want to step on toes of other players at the same time he's still trying to get an NBA game shape and talking with some of the coaching staff, they said they want James Harden to be himself, meaning facilitate, be that score, but be aggressive. And James Harden also had this message. He said for everybody taking shots at the team and him right now, he said now's the time to do it because they believe that they're going to figure this thing out. They do. They feel very strongly about what it could become. Norman Powell is checked in for the Clippers. Rookie Jalen Pickett is checked in for the champion Nuggets. Jokic, three, rebound, George. Harden has free reign to play like himself. Those are the words of Teron Liu, the head coach of the Clippers. So what did he say? I'm not a system player. I am the system. Yeah. <laughs> Great line. Good layup. It's Kawhi inside with his first two. Here's Pickett, the rookie. Ended up at Penn State. Began at Siena. Caldwell Pope, Jokic free to fire. Nikola Jokic is really racking him up. He's got nine already, not even halfway through the first quarter. And that's a nice down screen there by the rookie Pickett to free up Jokic. George dives inside and he finds his ninth point. Paul George, the six time All NBA star. Healthy, and when he is, he is a terrific player. Caldwell Pope on top. Zubac comes out on Jokic. And then the drive. Oh, that's Delay Zubac. Great, great block inside. Hard, too. George trying to go out by Caldwell Pope. Lost it inside. It's picked up by Gordon ahead to pick it around. James Harden. Here's Good a transition. Valuable minutes for Pickett. What did Coach Malone tell us? Look, he's going to get the first shot off the bench at that backup point guard position behind Jackson. Another steal by the Nuggets. It's off to Pickett. Harden came in. Smart Jokic. Good pass. And on the doorstep, he couldn't get it. And Norman Powell coming off a 20-point performance against Memphis on Sunday in L.A. Harden is on top. Harden's already knocked in a three. The hesitation, the drive, oh. the bump, and the deuce. Did you see how he yes, used that right, that right chicken wing? He's so crafty, <laughs> isn't he? Huh? Right to the chest of Jokic. So the Clippers have hit seven of 13. Nuggets have hit five of 14. Jokic takes it. Gordon is alone inside and open. So much attention every time he touches the basketball by the way leads the league in touches this year 99.9 <laughs> which means he's touching the basketball every single time down the court Jokic already has three assists and that's laced in it's a three by Paul George My he's got the stroke tonight looking into Gordon bumping into Kawhi with a 
foul called inside on the Clippers. Look at the downhill drive here by James Harden. Look at that right elbow. <laughs> That's how you clear space. Straight telling Jokic. Move. Norman Powell picked up his first personal foul. And at the free throw line is Aaron Gordon. Last five games, he's averaged a double-double. Sunday at Houston, 16 points and eight rebounds. It had three straight double-doubles heading into that game. Playing at a high level. Make every three-pointer, steal, and assist mean more with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Download the FanDuel Sportsbook app today. Yeah, but what's been more impressive for Aaron Gordon, he leads this Nugget team in block shots. And that's really where he's made his calling since coming over to the Nuggets has been at the defensive end. 12 block shots early on in his first 10 games here. Christian Brown has checked in for the Nuggets. Also, Peyton Watson has checked in. George has taken a breather. P.J. Tucker has come in. Joining Powell with the ball right now, Terrence Mann, who had missed some early time with the left ankle sprain. He is back inside Powell, floater over Watson. It's Brown, who's been in a bit of a slump. He's out working on some early shooting before this one. Tries to work on Harden. Approaching three and a half to play in the first. Watson got it, drives on Tucker. Yes. Peyton Watson is a second year player out of UCLA. Coach Malone absolutely loves his athleticism, especially at the offensive end. And he thinks he has a chance to be a really fine two way player. Harden's got seven. So right now we are seeing the best version of the Clippers, especially with this smaller lineup. You got PJ Tucker. And they're just going to switch off on Jokic. Jokic will spin on Kawhi, and there's no defending that. Well, how about the footwork, right? So, Michael Malone electing to keep Jokic on the floor with this smaller Clippers unit. Jokic has got 11. George on the Clipper bench with 12, the two high scores. Harden coming off his worst game as a clicker. Clipper has started very strong here in the first. Shot clock at four. Brown defending Leonard outside for Harden. Launches a three. Rebound Jokic. He's got six already here in the first. Pickett racing the other way. Cutting Gordon. Try. Get it. Pretty play. Great feed. Another two for Denver. And hey, Kevin, there's no shot blocker on the floor here for the Clippers. So if I'm Denver, drive everything to the hoop. Everything should be in the paint for Denver. Zubats is resting. Denver's got their first lead. They have two trailing Harden. Man inside Powell could not lasso the pass. It's Jokic with play inside. 11 points, six rebounds, and just an undersized Kawhi. This year by the NBA, all 30 teams are drawn into six different groups. These two teams are in the West Group B. Denver is 1-0 so far, and the Clippers 0-1. The point differential is important, too, because it could be a tiebreaker if one is required. Work their way to Las Vegas. Early December, there's a semifinal on a Thursday in the championship over the weekend. I like the money it. is at stake. I like I it. I do, too. I think the, the players are enjoying it. The competitive juices mm -hmm. are coming out. You yep. get a chance to get some early season big-time matchups. Well, the, after the first week, you find sometimes that yes. a little bit of the air is out of the sails, just be, like in every league. There's so much excitement. Over Tucker, that was a shot by Gordon. It's picked up by Terrence Mann, who looks spry and healthy. He's met at the other end there by Pickett. Here's Harden. Harden so far with an assist and seven points. Zeke Nashi is on him. He just got off the bench. He tries to defend, and Harden slips it in. This is going to his right against Najee. Nice move there by the bearded one. Again, playing downhill here. He's got nine. It's Brown and draws the defense of Harden. Chiseling his way in. On top to Najee. He's gone scoreless over the last couple games. Pickett has doubled. Gordon with a three. Rebound by Harden. And with Kawhi and PG on the bench, this is the time for James Harden, we just saw moments ago. He's got to be ultra aggressive offensively here. 
Puts up the three. Zubac is in. That rebound by Tucker Powell. The triple. No. That's tapped by the athletic and high leaping Terrence Mann. Another offensive rebound. Can't keep giving this Clipper team two and three looks. Harden way outside. But three bad looks by the Clippers. Three bad threes. Here's Pickett, strong physical player, Brown the screen, switch on D, Zubac defends, Pickett with a three. He has played some minutes here, seven minutes off the bench here. Already down screen to wide open Jokic. Nice assist and now knocks down the three. All teams coming off a loss. Memphis beat the Clippers, Houston got at the Denver Nuggets. There's a foul on Brown on top as a leaning Harden was ready to fire. This is what he's so good at. Well, why isn't he shooting three? He had a foul <laughs> to give, and I. They, I mean, he, he looked like he had gathered and was going up. All you shooters are the same. That's right. Non shooting <laughs> foul. Come on, just follow along here. Follow along here. <laughs> Michael Malone over there helping with the defense with the young players. Here's Powell. Final seconds, first quarter. Good the goes. And he was fouled on the play. Yep, he Watson. was by Watson. Mm -hmm. So a bad foul on Brown mm -hmm. against Harden. Now Peyton Watson. Shot clock running down here in this quarter. Just bodies up against Powell. Yep, got his hand caught in the cookie jar right there. Look at his left hand. Right there, right on the wrist there of Norman Powell. As I said, Norman Powell coming off the 20-point performance in the loss to Memphis on Sunday. He continues to adjust to the minutes, to the role, as the entire team is adjusting since the blockbuster trade. Well, they had a game plan going into training camp before the Harden trade, right? Mm -hmm. well, they were in Hawaii and got off to a, you know, a decent start. 3-1. And then you make the trade and... It's going to take some adjusting. Uh-oh. Man, who got it and snuck it up, but it wouldn't go. And Denver leads by two at the end of one. NBA on TNT presented by State Farm. Listen, listen to the baseball. Boom, boom. Nuggets by two at the end of one. Moments ago, our Chris Haynes caught up with Aaron Gordon of Denver. AZ, I'm a, I'm a bit down here with you, AZ. How would you explain? You. My knees. Come on. How, how would you explain the intensity level during that first quarter? Uh, I liked it. I think we could pick up our energy a little bit. Uh, just on like the offensive glass, it, it crashed heavy. So I liked it though. I like the intensity. Uh, I think the I think the cup is bringing that energy out of people. In particular, James Harden over there trying to find their groove. They're trying to find their wins. Sort of a desperation of a team right now. How do you guys combat that? Well, they're a really talented team. I mean, they got some Hall of Famers over there, for real. So they're a really skilled group. Um, so we just got to try and keep them out of rhythm. Um, play harder than them. Make them guard on defense. Well, get your breath, AG. Uh, Thank you, brother. How the current players are talking about this in season cup tells you everything you need to know. Talk about the competitive juices as Christian Brown goes coast to coast for the land. The players are into this because every Tuesday and Friday night, they know they're playing really for something. Yeah, wins and losses, I get it. But it's bringing out the best in these players. It's a shot by Paul George. Ooh, and it's a good one as he gets his first two in the quarter and 14 for the game. Going back to what Brown did, he defended Westbrook well, defended the rim, finished at the other end. A very confidence-building play for the second-year player, Brown. Caldwell Pope inside, no one home. Najee looking the other way. George Westbrook. And picked up by Mann. He is a high flyer coming out of the Raptors. Four rebounds. Fade away. Westbrook. Book it. Terrence Mann is everywhere. Already four rebounds off the bench here for the Clippers. Mann is somebody the 76ers really wanted in the lane. Reggie Jackson gets it to go. And we wanted to pair him next to Tyrese Maxey. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been so Oh, my goodness. goodness. You talk about two guys. <laughs> 
Energizers. The league loves man. Good feed. Westbrook, Zubats, Brown there. Foul called on Denver. The Zubats was diving on a laser thrown in there by Russell Westbrook. Brown is second. Zubats to the line. Clippers come in number 11 in the Western Conference and looking for their first win in this in-season tournament with a look at 46-year-old Teron Liu. Played in the league, won a champion as a player, championship. NBA Tonight on TNT is brought to you by Burger King. Combo your way at BK. You rule! Right now, if a Whopper came descending from the rafters, what I would, would you do right now? With an open mouth and say, thank you. <laughs> oh, where were you last night? You were in Buffalo. No I wonder you are hungry. Buffalo last no night. Doing the Broncos, and now tonight, the Nuggets. You should have just jumped on the charter. I may call the Nuggets the Broncos. <laughs> Who knows? Here's, I should have jumped on it. But they didn't fly home till today. Working his way inside, sifting through the defense. Brown was fouled as he worked across the lane. Powell was there. Here, here again, the, those winning moves there by Christian Brown. Keeping the ball alive. Powell picks up his second. Christian Brown entering the season was going to be originally the sixth man, but it hasn't worked out that way. Jackson filled that role to start the season. Now, that may change, but right now, and of course, Jackson is starting for the injured Jamal Murray. He's out another couple, three weeks with a hamstring, and Jackson will fly down the lane. Rebound, Nashi. How about that? Oh, that was impressive. Love it. Love the hustle there by Zeke Nashi. Not giving up on the play. Talking at the defensive end. Now he's got his hands full against a red-hot PG. Paul George money, a three, and 17 for Paul George. Two of two from downtown. Six of seven from the field for Paul George. Good feed. Jackson cutting Najee. Inside it's loose. There again. Extending the arm. Fifth rebound by Mann. Here comes a heat check right here. George inside around one defender after another. Ping ponging off bodies. Jackson three on one. Brown! Brown! Jack hammers it in. And the Jayhawk flying off the wing. How about the no-look pass, though, by Reggie Jackson? Beautiful play here by the Nuggets. 33-year-old Reggie Jackson playing like he's 23. Change of direction, Westbrook. Hooks it in. Zubats cutting. Nice defense inside. Zubats got it. Westbrook corralled it. Whistle inside. Boy, there is a lot of contact. <laughs> A lot of contact. How about this fast break here by the Nuggets? Look at this no pass. And Christian Brown with the finish. And this is how you earn more minutes in Michael Malone's rotation off the bench here. Plays like that, Kev. Zubats at the line. Jackson picked up the foul. And, and this is, uh, at the line, and he's a 59% free throw shooter, Reg. And partner, this is why the Nuggets on their way to a championship were so successful. Because Michael Malone is not afraid to go 10-11 deep. It's a long season, 82 games. Now we've added the end season tournament. That's going to add minutes to guys. So when you can play 10-11 guys, keep guys fresh, keep those minute counts low, and then come April and May, and hopefully June if you're lucky enough, your starting five in your top six or seven are fresh for the marathon playoff season. Here comes Jackson. Oh, look at this. Norman Powell was right there with the defense. Knocked it away, and it necessitated him crossing midcourt to get it. Jackson Hill puts it up, fouled in the play. Powell again hits the deck and picks up a foul in the third on the valuable Norman Powell. I don't know who was holding who. It looked like Powell going down had the wrist of Reggie Jackson. Jackson will be at the line. There's still the, the Clippers, Reggie, are still searching for that consistent rotation. You talked about this and a recipe with Leonard and George and Westbrook and Harden to coexist. It's, it's going to take some time, isn't it? It's going to take 25 to 30 games, right? We won't see the best version 
of these Clippers until closer to the All-Star break. Let's take a look at the upcoming national TV schedule tomorrow on ESPN Celtic Sixers and the Kings and Lakers and Friday on ESPN in season tournament continuing with the Kings in San Antonio and the Suns in Salt Lake City Utah for more on these games go to NBA.com or visit the NBA app Westbrook and George Man, Zubats, and Tucker. That's the five for the Clippers as they go the other way in Westbrook. Jackson got screened. Najee goes on Westbrook. Russell will try. Najee is right there. His defense has been important off the bench. Brown. Outside. Caldwell Pope three. And the reason why KCP is that wide open. The yelling by Najee running the lane, it sucked all the Clippers defenders to him, which allowed KCP that wide open three. The each, little team, things. each team is at three threes so far, and there's a travel on Russell Westbrook. Jokic right. is going to check in back in the game as Jackson was getting a little feisty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to love it here. All right, so Jokic will inbound. Michael Porter Jr. is back in the game. Great minutes by Zeke Naji. Yeah. By Pickett. I mean, these young players, again, Michael Malone, He's going to go 9, 10, 11 deep. Well, he says, you know, here I am, a coach of a, of a championship team. I want to win a championship. Sure. Career. I want to repeat. But I've got to develop four young players. I've got to develop my bench. The youth is a big concern and still go for a championship. That's a tall order. And think about the two pieces they lost. Bruce Brown, who's playing great in Indiana. Jeff Green, who's playing great for Houston, who's had a resurgence. He was good the other yes. game against so on Sunday. Those two guys were huge and instrumental in winning that championship with the Nuggets. So here you see the longest tenured head coaches. The Nuggets just gave Michael Malone a multi-year contract extension. He's one of the highest paid coaches now in Good. the NBA. He's Good. taken to five straight playoffs, two Western Conference Finals, and last season, a championship. The first and only in the history of the NBA Denver Nuggets, who came from the ABA decades ago. Here is Pickett. Westbrook out in the way. Jokic will try to finish it. Rebound, Westbrook. Okay, okay, okay. Westbrook takes it in hard. Lost it. More defense by Denver. Defense was their foundation in the finals against Miami. We saw it. Jokic, three. Rebound, Zubats. He's yeah. got four. They're making Jokic a volume shooter tonight as Kawhi Leonard knocks down the three. His second field goal on the of the evening three of 11 now for Jokic but all of these shots have been pretty wide open though they have 11 points on 11 field goal attempts poked away by Kawhi Leonard there's his defense on display Westbrook over picket I will live with that Subots the rebound new shot clock with which to work here comes Paul George who's put in 17 Leonard has put in five works on Porter Shot clock at two. Gordon defends. A three by George. On the move. It's Pickett. Caldwell Pope three. He just hit from there. And he hits again. Caldwell Pope puts it through. He's got six. I'm, I'm making shots. That's my swagger. You feel me? I got to get back to the basics first. Then I got to get my swagger. You feel me? I'll be all right, though. This is our fifth game. Watch. I got to stick the land and like go back to the fundamentals of basics. Shot. Stay there to the ball go in. You know what I mean? State Farm Audio Assist. Leonard works on Gordon across the lane. Lost it in there. Another Clipper turnover. Harden trying to get his 
regular season basketball legs under him because he didn't have much camp as we know is this is the fifth game he's played and he's still working on his conditioning. I like the message though he was telling Bones Highland and I hope there's young kids out there listening. I got to get back to the basics stick the landing the fundamentals Good point. the little things. Harden just picked up his first foul. With a move here Caldwell Pope. George is on Jokic. Under six to go in the first half. It's Pickett on top. Leonard is there on the wing. Three Porter. Rebound Leonard digging at it with Jokic and saved by Tucker. He's so great with those 50 50 balls. It's Leonard the hesitation. The spin lost it fouled inside uh, by Jalen Pickett, the rookie. How about P.J.? He's 38 years old. <laughs> P.J. Tucker, who came in the trade with Harden, he isn't all that happy with his minutes. He's playing good minutes tonight, and this is what he does. Yeah, but they're saving P.J. Tucker for the second half of the sure season. They are. Yes, he's got to get his rhythm. I get all that, but P.J. Tucker is going to be much more valuable come playoff time for this Clipper team in these early season games. Rookie Jalen Pickett picked up the foul for the Denver Nuggets. 524 to go here in the second. Clippers 42% from the floor. Denver right at 50%. 16 of 32. So here's the problem though for the Clippers. A lot of standing around. A lot of isolation basketball. And that's a problem. Yes. Because they need to keep moving. But who are you going to ask to move? Well, right 30, there. Harden 32 and 33-year-old yeah. Kawhi Leonard. 32, 33-year-old Paul George. Jokic just picked I mean, up the foul. 38 year old Tucker like who's going to move. And here are these kids who all grew up in and around the Los Angeles area. And all basically in the same age group and probably played against one another. Well, I'm thinking basketball, that AAU which is huge for sure. out there whether in California. Their schools, whether their high schools faced each other I don't yes. know. But isn't that amazing in that group in that time frame mm -hmm. to have four future Hall of Fame kids all you know right in that same section and all went to different colleges UCLA yes. San Diego State Arizona State I mean this is and it's not just a rotisserie team like we've seen other teams try to do this is a team with some thought they needed the passing of Harden Jokic with a three Another Zubac one. came out there and Jokic has 14 points and he's knocked in two threes and I gotta throw off Fresno State for Paul George sure on Gordon and pulls up with the mid-range shot. It's Porter galloping the other way. Porter on the fly. No. Knocked away by George. And out of bounds. So these high schoolers all close to L.A. and that Riverside looks a little familiar oh, to you. Yes, I know it does. Know, yeah. King High School. Martin Luther King High School there for Kawhi Leonard. Ty Lu said of Harden as he's brought to this team, he is exactly what we need. We need his passing. He creates for others. And he gave some outlandish statistic. Missed three right there by Jackson. Zubac has it. He said if he took the combined setup by Leonard and George for others to create points and shots, it was like in the 150 range total combined. And Harden was like over 300 <laughs> with Philadelphia. Leonard drives the bump into Porter. Rebound Jokic. Jackson down the side. Harden is there. Sneaking in. Jackson puts it up with a pretty play. And Biggest lead for Denver. It's a luxury to have a Reggie Jackson come off the bench and insert him into the starting lineup in place of Jamal Murray. That was so much game time experience. Getting in the way was Caldwell Pope. Hit somebody's foot. Jackson here. Operating in close quarters. Mm -hmm. Nuggets come in 8 and 2, unbeaten at home. 6 and 0. Oh. Clippers come in 3 and 6, 0 oh and 5 on the road. And losers of five consecutive games. Still trying. You can just see, right? They're just yeah. a little bit off. Harden the fake. The drive in the mid ranger. And Jokic right there to gobble it up and gather his seventh rebound. 
on the move. He finds Porter with a runner off the baseline. He's been real quiet tonight. That's only his first field goal right there. Coach Lou. 10-point lead for Denver. 7-0 run for the champion Nuggets. Hey, Reggie, Bleacher Report has a new, cool, innovative called initiative called Hero Ball, where they discuss storylines around the league using cool animations, like in the quest for the inaugural NBA Cup. Clippers are off to a slow start with their new core four, while the Nuggets are led by the reigning finals MVP, <laughs> Nikola Jokic. I could watch that stuff. I love that stuff. <laughs> here comes here comes Leonard on top and about three to play. Now down to 253 in the half. Another miss by Leonard, who has played about 14 and a half minutes. He's only at two field goals. He has three turnovers, no rebounds, and he's only two of six. So he's off to a slow start tonight for LA. Clippers have only had one field goal in the last six and a half minutes. Caldwell Pope three. Harden, nice lead pass. George got it. Beautiful pass, but he could not finish. Now it's five on four. Jokic, I got numbers. Pope. Here comes Jokic. Floater on the fly. And a technical foul on Paul George. Again, having words with the official. Natalie Sago felt that there was contact on that breakaway. How about the unselfish play there by Gordon? Wasn't that nice? To Jokic, yes. The T free throw here by Caldwell Pope. Who has not missed a free throw all season. 12 of 12. There's George in the T. Tuan Lu played at Nebraska as college. Basketball, he's coached the champion with LeBron. Here's Harden inside, then out. Man got it to Powell. He was taking the three, and he was fouled by Reggie Jackson. And this is what PG was talking about, the contact on the missed layup. A little push on the back there by Caldwell Pope. Is that what he was saying? Well, the official was on the other side, so mm -hmm. she probably didn't see it because she was blocked by Jokic. Denver's on a 10-0 run. Jackson picks up his second personal foul, and Powell is at the free throw line. The nine-year veteran out of UCLA. NBA League Pass has more teams, more streams, and more intensity. Sign up and watch games live or on demand, including select in-season tournament group play games every Tuesday and Friday. Start your free trial today. I like Coach oh. Lou here. Gambling a little bit, putting and inserting Norman Powell back on the floor here with those three fouls. Jackson inside, a contorted shot. And a foul. Harden pleading his case. The foul goes on James. And Jackson will be at the free throw line. Harden picks up number two. Fifth game that Harden has played with the Clippers. They have not won yet with him. His plus minus has been a minus in each game so far that he has played. And tonight, he's minus seven. Now maybe now minus eight. But again, as Teron was talking about, not the, the, the integration of Harden, it, it's a 10, 12, maybe who knows how many games to get this uh, thing up to speed. 30 games, you think my so? Friend, yes. The way they want to play. And he says they want to play with a much quicker pace, which I still don't understand how they're going to do with those four guys in the starting lineup. Because who's going to commit to all that movement? Tell you what, though, if anybody can figure it out, it's Toronto. Yes, Lou. he can. He kind of went through this one then Kyrie Irving, yep. LeBron, and Kevin Love. Two minutes. Powell drives on Jackson. So five quick points off the bench again for Powell with those three fouls. Ten-point game. Nuggets have led by 13. Early lead of four by the Clippers. Nice drop pass, Jackson. And it was Jokic with a pinpoint throw. Well timed. 16, nine, and six assists here in this first half for Jokic. Harden's got it, and then a whistle. 
Clock, 14 seconds. Kick. How about the first half for Reggie Jackson? Five of eight, 14 points, three assists. George and Jackson. Good push off and got the space and misses the 20 footer. Jokic collects another rebound. He's got 10, another double double. He's had a double double in every game this season. Gordon backing in on Harden. Approaching a minute to play in the half. Porter three, no rebound. Powell. George had the collision, no foul call. Look at Powell fly. In the corner, it's a Leonard three. Kawhi Leonard knocks down a tray. A He's got shot. eight. Big shot to get this to single digits now. They're going to have to step up their defense here. Kawhi's got two threes here in the second quarter. Jokic and Harden, plenty of time with which to work. Jokic, now doubled by Powell. Oh, too easy. And he still got it. Too easy. There's no way you can stop him. No, and they're too small. This is the problem. And going forward, this will always be the problem with Zubats only being the real primary big for the Clippers. Coming up, the American Express halftime report with the Hall of Fame foursome of E.J. Kenny, Chuck and Shaq. Three, George Bookett. Nice shot, another good stroke. And 20 points in the first half for Paul George, who averages 23 a game. And with the firepower the Clippers have, if, if I'm Coach Lou, if I can go into this halftime only down eight, I'll take it. Jackson and Powell, a difference of uh, about three and a half seconds, game clock and shot clock, the switch, and Kawhi's on Jackson. Powell's on Jokic, finding an open Porter, three. Rebound by George, two seconds. Can he launch it in time? Good if it goes. And halftime is here. Jokic for Denver, 18 points, 10 rebounds, and six assists. Paul George poured in 20 for the Clippers. We are at halftime. The champion Nuggets on top at the half. Coming up next, we take you to the American Express halftime report on TNT. Welcome back to Denver, the NBA on TNT, presented by State Farm. Denver's led by 13, Clippers had an early lead of four. And here are some of the numbers, 51% shooting for Denver. They've been perfect from the free throw line, and they're holding the Clippers to just 39% from the floor. Yeah, but a plus 16 domination, points in the paint by the bigger Denver Nuggets. We've got Michael Malone, the great coach of the Nuggets. I'm going to give you three choices here. You want to talk about Jackson in his 14 first half points, 11 of 11 from the free throw line, and your six of seven bench shooting. What do you want to? What do you want to talk about, Coach? Let's talk about Reggie Jackson. Okay. Reggie Jackson, longtime LA Clipper, uh, taking the place of Jamal Murray while he's out with injury, and Reggie's been fantastic for us, running the team, playing his game, scoring the ball, and making all of his teammates better. And Coach, I'm going to talk about the bench. There's six of seven led by Jalen Pickett, who you said was going to get his first crack off the bench to sub for Reggie Jackson. Yeah, I think Jalen, for the first time playing real minutes, did an outstanding job. Played with poise, uh, shot the ball with confidence, found the open man, and he used his strength and physicality on the defensive end, Reg, to help us get some stops. So really impressed by the young fellow coming in and helping us have a great first half. Michael, we always appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Right, thank you, guys. Michael Malone just signed that gigantic new contract as the coach of the Denver Nuggets as Kawhi takes it across the lane and a whistle and a foul. It was called, I think, on Porter inside. It was, and Michael Porter picks up his first with Leonard at the line. His first three to five minutes for the Clippers. Critical, right? Because right now you've got it down to eight with Kawhi headed to the free throw line. In those third quarters, they've come out real slow since the hard and trade. This is a chance for them. You're on the road against the world champs. You haven't played well. You haven't won a road game yet. And this is a chance for you to kind of get back in this ball game. Kawhi Leonard has not missed a game yet. Last time that happened, the start of the season was 2016. So it's good that he has been durable. George looks terrific, spry and healthy. Harden getting his legs and his conditioning. 
And you can see at times how this thing really can give them a positive feel. Jokic is cutting oh. on the feed from Jackson. And was it a goaltend? What a block there by that Zubac. Was amazing. Now, did he have contact? Yeah, Zubac did, yep. Yep, hand on his shoulder. Good call there by the official. Ooh, that's really close to being a goaltend. Jokic, the two time MVP. Denver has not missed a free throw all night. And they continue in that way 12 of 12. Two time MVP, and last season he finished number two in back of Joel Embiid. But he was the finals MVP. Denver is not, at least coming into tonight, one of the better free throw shooting teams. Next to last in the NBA at 71% tonight. A pristine 13 of 13. Westbrook to the rack. Knocked away. It's Gordon on the run. The trailing Porter into Kawhi and around Harden and knocked away by Zubac with a foul. And the Nuggets continue to attack that paint area. We told you a plus 16 advantage at the half. Michael Porter Jr. not settling for the three. Puts his head down and attacks those three white jerseys. Harden picked up his third foul. Michael Porter at the free throw line. He's top 12 this season league wide in three point shots made tonight. 0 of 5. Hey, make your picks with NBA Pick'em in season tournament edition now for your chance to win tickets to NBA All Star 2024. Play free at NBA.com slash pick'em or on the NBA app. Oh, struggle bus for Porter Jr. Only two points, one of six from the field, 0 of five from downtown, and just missed two give me's at the free throw line. Here's Leonard, goes around Jokic, feeds the cutting Westbrook. Subots on the doorstep, tried to get it. Westbrook finally corrals it. Shot clock is new. He goes into Caldwell Pope, but he finds Subots, who flushes off the other baseline. Westbrook and Harden on the floor at the same time. What do you think of that? Well, it, to me, it's going to make Westbrook a shooter, right? So his man is always going to be in the lap of James Harden on drives and Paul George. So that's why he's trying to be aggressive offensively. R Russell Westbrook with only two of eight tonight from the field. Russ just picked up his first foul. Many interesting numbers as you take a look here at the numbers before Look at, the points. Look at the points before mm -hmm. the trade. Yeah. 120 down to 108 tonight. Right now, we're sitting at 55. Jokic trying from the wing. Westbrook got up there, foiled the shot. Leonard, Westbrook, Zubac, a oh. bucket of defenders, and he tries to get it up, and it finally goes down. And Zubats has got seven. And the Clippers hanging around they here. Are. Gordon, one on one, Leonard, who just pickpockets him and gets another steal. The claw comes up with it. Kip, that's the last person you want to go no. one on one with. George into Caldwell Pope. Yeah, look at this. Away and Caldwell Pope with his own great defensive moves coming up with it. Caldwell Pope, number six in steals a year ago, in the corner, three quarter. What a welcome sight. He's talked about the struggles by Porter Jr. Gets his first three to go on the evening. Five points now. They're going to need his offense. His 28 threes lead the Nuggets. Three minutes gone here in the third quarter. Zubats, Harden, corner. Kawhi on the move. It's a Porter rebound. Denver is not one here. Rather, uh, the Clippers have not Another won steal. in Denver. They have not won in Denver, the Clippers, since December of 2020. They've lost 9 of 10 here. Over a longer stretch. Zubac tried to go in and hammer Oh, he sure did. Let me older than statistic on the Nuggets. They've won nine of the last ten overall against the Clippers. That includes games in L.A. as the foul goes on Gordon for the first time. 
But here the Clippers have not won since December of 2020. Timeout taken by the Nuggets with eight and a half to go in the third. And De congratulations. I appreciate it. On everything. You gotta go Gordon. You gotta, you gotta go Gordon. Hey Joe, that last window, screen. Cause you, you ain't really screen. Now you fake corral and now Jokic don't gotta be up. If you screen, now if he can turn, now it's gonna be more space. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, let's close out, man. We got 215. Let's go. I'm going up. I didn't have you in your upward yet whenever you came. I'm going up. Look at that time. Tell me what you think. He wants you to go look at yeah. Tiff and that shot. <laughs> That's a score right, right there. Right that know. is a score right there. I'm going up. Sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jacking. And then you would have said, by the way, don't look at my feet when I go up on a shot. Here's <laughs> Caldwell Pope. Off to Gordon. Jokic on top. He's got 20 points. With a miss three, it's Leonard the rebound. That's the first rebound for Kawhi. Into Zubac. Oh, yeah. Cutting is Westbrook, who goes high and comes down hard. It's a four-point game in Denver. Well, look, we marvel about Jokic and his passing. Zubac at that high post area. Very nice. Very much the same. Not the same as Jokic, but he can deliver. Oh, looking inside. Westbrook in there. Trying to deflect it, and he did. And then this, just before. It's a 35-year-old high flyer. It's Porter with a two. Footballs on the line. Knocks in the long shot. He's got eight. I think they called it a two-point shot. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. Yep. But look, if you're James Harden, you couldn't have played that any better. I mean, you were step for step with Porter Jr. Leonard trying to surgically cut his way inside. Gordon was there defending. Now they got Caldwell Pope watching George. Jackson is on. Harden a three, seven to fire, and he got it to go. Harden puts it up and in. Harden has got 14 points with a sweet tray there. We got a one possession game here, my friend. Nikola on top, Jokic. Hands off to Caldwell Pope. Shot clock down to eight. Zubac defends. Will they double? The gentle hook will not go. There was a foul inside on the Clippers. Nuggets patiently trying to work their way. Zubac, I think, may have picked it right up. No, they give it to Paul George. Chris Haynes, he picks up his second. What do you have? Well, James Harden, you saw that connection he has with Zubac in the pick and roll formation. I was told that after shoot arounds, James has pulled Zubac to the side to work out on some of those pick and rolls. And so they're, they're trying to gather a connection. You have to remember, this Clippers team, they lack bigs. Mason Plumlee is out for an extended time. So Zubac is the only guy that can really roll. And that's what James Harden, you know, thrives in doing the pick and roll formation. So you're going to see that connection continue to grow. Zubac just picked up his third. Interesting observation by Chris and how they're trying to work. I mean, they're learning on the fly here what each other likes and how they like to maneuver. And once Plumlee comes back, I think he's going to be out about two months. This is a guy who has great hands and can finish at the rim. High flyer in, in Mason Plumlee, so he'll have options once Plumlee comes back. Plumlee is out with the left MCL sprain. They have changed the Porter shot to a three. They looked at it in the replay center and saw that he indeed was, although on the floor it was ruled a, a two. two. With Jokic at the free throw line. The only person who's missed free throws tonight has been Michael Porter Jr. 0-2. Jokic is 7-7. Seven seven. From the line, 75% for the season. And that'll rattle in. 22 and 11 now. Four assists away from another triple double for Jokic. Harden has played 23 minutes, got the zoom on screen. Here they go. He'll take it himself and scoops it up. It's a rebound pulled in by newly instated Jalen Pickett. Rookie out of Penn State. Saw early time and Porter throws it away. 
The Jamal Murray injury, a strained right hamstring, it was about 10 days ago, likely out until sometime mid-December, maybe well, they're not going to mess around with it. A soft tissue issue like that, they, they're very, very careful, they're especially with a kid like him. He's a vital for this team. Out to Harden, over to George, finds a crack, slithers inside. It's Zubats with the offensive rebound, halfway through the third. Six-point game, George kicks it. Westbrook drives it. Oh! Almost had it. Zubac grabs it. Doubled out. Westbrook three. And it will not go. Rebound. Clean the glass. Jokic races the other way. Pick it. Porter. Step back. Westbrook was feisty with his defense. Baseline drive. As Pickett gives to Jokic, who misses inside. Jokic is 6 of 18 tonight. Give a lot of credit to Zubac. Yes. He's making them work. Leonard doubled as he took it in the corner. George from Westbrook. Russell had it. Shot clock is at eight. Picked up by Porter. Now here is Harden bumping into Caldwell Pope and a foul called on Contavious Caldwell Pope. And that's what James Harden will bring to this team. You know, shot clock running down. You can just throw it to him and he can create. He can create offense for himself. Well, Here, and, it, and he just him. gives these, yes. these little moves and bumps, and, and Murray says, oh, come on. <laughs> so like, I never get that call. I never get that call. Good shot by our director, Matt Lip. Our producer tonight is Jeff Randolph. For statistician, Brian Taylor, and our great TNT crew, cross court. Powell, three, come Norman Powell trains the three, and he's got nine in the game, and it's a three-point game. Jokic and Zubac, bumping, plowing. My goodness. Wow. He was mauled down low by Zubac. That's Zubac, his fourth four, now. Yeah. Here's the problem now, because now the Clippers are going to have to go small. And we saw in the first half, the Nuggets take advantage of those points in the paint. Yeah, he clearly had the back of his jersey. Can the Clippers wait for two months for Plumlee to come back, or are they going to get another big somewhere? Right. Well, they're getting ready to come in with Terrence Mann. Yeah, they'll go That's small, and man, they are athletic when man comes in. But they're small. Yes, very small. Oh, undersized. Jokic is perfect from the free throw line tonight. 23 points. Let's take a look at our FanDuel live point totals for tonight's game as Jokic is 9 of 9 from the stripe. We began at minus 4.5, and, and that's where we are right now. As Zubats wow. will take a seat on the bench. And Jokic hits yet another free throw. He's got six assists. Christian Brown has checked in for Denver. Joining Jokic, there's a three by Harden. Rebound by Jokic. So it's Gordon and Jokic. Caldwell Pope, along with Jalen Pickett. Christian Brown, young players on the floor for the defending champion Nuggets. Good steal, defense man will go the other way, cutting, angling in. Three, George, good! Another three and a two-point deficit for L.A. And that three-point ball is keeping them in this ball game. Tennyson help quickly. Jokic double. Christian Brown is open. Jokic with a great feed. Well, at seven feet, he can see over the double team. He can see over Pike's Peak. <laughs> Here comes Harden. Off the man. George has Caldwell Pope on him. Good screen by man. Powell tries to get free on the baseline. It's picked up by Gordon. Got numbers. He'll scoop it off. Caldwell Pope to Gordon. Harden closes. Cutting Gordon with a big time flush. The Nuggets have answers. Aaron Gordon doing a little bit of everything out here. A little give and go action. And how about the finish there by Flash? They led by 13. Denver shooting right at 50%. The Clippers are shooting 38%.
P.J. Tucker is checked in. Harden will pick up the ball here with man in one corner, Powell in the other, and Leonard with the ball with a fake on Gordon and a feed, and it's caught by Tucker for three, where he is deadly in that corner. Along with his defense and hustle, that corner three is what's keeping him in the, in the NBA. Here is Pickett. Man is on him. Good travel. travel. Good defense by man. And the rookie Pickett. <laughs> man, Terrence Mann was just <laughs> ball hawking Jalen Pickett there, forcing him into that, that turnover. Look at that. Yep. Shuffle defeat. LA Clippers are plus six points off turnovers in this game. Working into two defenders. Nothing there for Leonard, so he kicks it around. Now he's got it again, and Gordon is there, and Jokic is waiting. But he got it to go. Pretty shot in a lot of traffic, and 11 for Kawhi. A 5-0 run since that timeout by Coach Lou here. Jokic brings it up like a guard. Feeds Peyton Watson off the bench into the circle, defended by Harden. Jokic cleans it up, and it's slammed inside. Peyton Watson. Eight assists now. Two away from another triple-double for Jokic. Harden with it. He has 14. Tucker just hit the three. Powell's off the bench. Works his way, sneaking down low. Got Jokic, and then in the corner, Tucker, three out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. B.J. Tucker, who was drafted by Toronto, played their year, then went overseas for five years. Comes back to the NBA, joined Phoenix initially. He's been with some good teams, won a championship with Milwaukee, and everywhere he's gone, he's, in the words of the coaches that have had him, been indispensable. One of those blue guys, right? Here is Pickett with a missed shot. Najee is in as Jokic is resting. Najee just came in the game. And he was good defensively in the first half when he came off the bench. Well, their bench has been great. Mm -hmm. Man just picked up his second personal foul. Talked with Michael Malone before the game. You know, his dad passed during training camp, and he missed all of training camp as the world champions were gathering back together. And he said, you know, I, I think of my dad a lot because he was a coach in the NBA for so many years. And, and the one piece of advice he gave me that I use a lot and use even more now is when there are challenges, he said, be with your players. Mm -hmm. Don't don't sit in the front of the plane or the front of the Go back and be with them. Talk to them individually. And he's really delved into that whole philosophy of connecting with them as uh, people. Not that he hadn't before, but it's even more, I think, of a priority as you defend a championship. Especially with the younger players like a Peyton Watson, Christian Brown, Jalen Pickett, those kind of guys. He knows what he's going to get from the Jamal Murray's and the Jokic of the world. Inside Leonard, again, more traffic in that paint. It's picked up by Najee. Gordon the other way, the stutter step in the feed, and Brown was cutting, and the ball sails out of bounds. With an unforced turnover there by the Nuggets. Nuggets were fearful of this game, weren't they? With the team that had not won yes. five-game losing streak with all this talent, they, they thought, uh-oh, this is going to be a challenge tonight. Hey, four future Hall of Famers. Eventually, they're going to get it right. Powell and Inagio with a good move to Sykes. Kept the defense. And Powell, double figures now with 11. And he's coming off a 20-point game on Sunday. He's just warming up because he's really their fourth-quarter performer for the Clippers. It's Jalen Pickett in the ball poked out of bounds. Jalen Pickett is from Rochester, New York, and he eventually went to Siena, where he was the player of the year in the conference. He went to Penn State for the final two years, first team all Big Ten. He was drafted number 32 by Indiana. Ends up here with the rights coming to Denver. Watson makes a move across the lane. Powers on him. Shot clock at one. And Brown can't get it to go as he would have beaten the clock had it fallen in. Chance to tie or take the lead with a three here for the Clippers. Harden, Najee defending, driving, and there it is. A drive by 
James Harden to tie it at 79 16 with the eighth tie of the game. And this takes so much pressure off Kawhi Leonard to be the primary scorer for this Clippers team. Pickett hesitating and then working his way down and knocked away by Leonard and picked up by Mann. Now a chance for the lead. They've led earlier by four, but it's been a while. Four steals for Kawhi Leonard tonight. Denver a foul to give. Harden faking left. Right. He goes into the lane. And oh, and there's a bump by Brown. And down goes Harden. Pickett was already on the floor. And Pickett picked it up. He got the foul, the rookie. His second. Yep, contact right there on the drive. James Harden heading to the free throw line. Hopefully point 17 and 18. Harden has not missed a free throw all season. Two and two tonight. This is the first Clipper lead since the first quarter when they were up 23-21. The Stars and Stripes are back to defend their nation's league title. Watch the U.S. men's national team battle Trinidad and Tobago Thursday starting at 8.30 Eastern. That's on TNT and streaming on Max. Harden, best game he's played as a Clipper perhaps, right? Well, as a team, this is the best they've played. In other games, even that win, 11-3 Clipper run here against the Grizzlies on Sunday. They just seemed out of source. They are playing much better and more cohesive here. Reggie Jackson on the wing. Harden is there. Najee the screen. Switch on defense. Tucker is there. Shot clock at six. Dancing. Driving. Jackson. Whoa. Falls in to tie it at 81. Jackson with 16. His first two points of the second half. Final nine seconds. Harden three over Brown. <laughs> what did you say? Go back to the basics. Go Fall back through to the basics. Get, get my feet set. Gordon, good if it goes. Got it. Got it. Got it. To tie it at 84. What a finish. The Clippers outscore the champion Nuggets 32-24. Gordon you? got it off in time. Just split the double team there. Yes, he did. Gordon with 11. Jokic has 24. 23 from George. The NBA on TNT presented by State Farm. A famously smooth whiskey from a famously big family. Meet Jose. Could be one of us. Even when he shows up uninvited, he's never empty-handed. You see, he's nearly as smooth as our whiskey. Must be a Jameson. Yes, it's been a work in progress, but Paul George, James Harden, we talked about the two Southern California primetime high school performers. They delivered tonight 44 points combined. And how about this? 7 of 14 from deep between the two. James Harden is resting on the Clipper bench after a 10-point third quarter and 21 for the game. So is that in the lineups? There's Jackson. Najee up top. Tucker got in the way. Jackson retrieves. On top for Porter. Paul defends the three. Rebound Westbrook out there with Tucker and Mann and Powell and Paul George. It's small but athletic for the Clippers who have fought back from a 13-point deficit. Westbrook stopping, starting. George fakes a three, moves inside, kicks it in the corner. Tucker, three, got it again. <laughs> He's hit a couple threes from the corner and give him six. From the opposite corner. Yeah. He is the corner killer. Here's Brown driving on Powell. Such speed for Brown. As he just goes sprinting for two, and he's got eight. Who's going to win small ball here? George inside, into Brown. He gets it to go, forcing the issue. He's got 25. And with this unit, it's got to be Paul George and Norman Powell for the Clippers. Oh. 
Holiday in for the first time. Justin the Holiday, yep. First time he touched the ball right there with Najee. Oh, what a hell of a for Brown. What a feed for Holiday. Nice. A guy with championship experience and Holiday off the bench here for the Nuggets. He's only playing in his fourth game of the season, and this is game 11. George and the 11 year veteran Justin Holiday is there. The last name should tip you off to the great family of NBA players that they have. Ooh, a big collision with Tucker and Holiday, two veterans, and that's a foul. With our fourth quarter clock at 10:13, you could feel the collision here. Najee picks up a foul Look away from the ball. Look at this, Kev. <laughs> oh, Boom. man. Tucker, fortunate he didn't pick up that offensive foul mm -hmm. right there. All right, they take out Holiday. They bring back in Caldwell Pope. Clippers outscored the Nuggets in the third by eight. Westbrook will survey. Oh, Six points foul. for him, and it is indeed. Oh, no. They're going to call that on Reggie Jackson. How about Paul George got away with a hook? It goes on Jackson for the third time. Let's watch it again. Watch them battling down here. I think the crowd saw what you saw. Westbrook, George was diving. Porter Jr. with a hold on PG-13. He's got two. And this is good for Coach Lou. How aggressive the Clippers have been to start this fourth quarter, trying to get to the bonus early. Yeah, there's the hold right there. Three quick fouls on Denver. Westbrook, man, whistle, foul, offensive on the Clippers. Westbrook was jetting inside. Christian Brown. Third turnover for Westbrook here. Westbrook's got two. Reggie Jackson, Porter Jr., these two guys to do something offensively here with Jokic on the bench. It's a turnover by this group, and Terrence Mann comes up with it. The hesitation, the drive, shifting gears, and Tucker in the corner for three. Brown tried to get the rebound. Look at the hustle Westbrook. there. Yep, and he was fighting for the ball. Look at the hustle there by Christian Brown. Westbrook picks up a foul, I think. Yep. And I like the hustle by both these players here. I mean, who wants it more? Just battling. Third on Russell Westbrook. There's Jackson bumping in demand, but nothing called and springing back up. Reggie Jackson, Christian Brown, Najee. Ooh, inadvertent shot, but he's got the protective goggles on. So he says, let's straighten those babies out, and here we go. Shot clock at four and a long two. Inside, Westbrook grabs the loose ball. You got to get Jokic back in the ball game. Westbrook has seven rebounds. George with Porter defending. Three minutes gone here on the fourth. George, three. It misses it all with an air ball caught by Porter. Jackson pushing the pace. Bodies again on the floor at the other end. Getting up is Najee. Brown working on Powell. Caldwell Pope, a move, a spin, a lean, and a whistle. Well, there is a big difference when Jokic is in and out in the plus minus, taking a look at the upcoming national TV schedule tomorrow on ESPN. The Celtics will be in Philadelphia and the Kings will be in LA against the Lakers. Friday on ESPN, in season tournament continues with the Kings in Texas against the Spurs and the Suns in Utah against the Jazz. And for more on these games, go to NBA.com or visit the NBA app. Jokic is in. Yeah, but Jokic is in the zoo box, still on the bench here with those four fouls. Now, what's been successful for the Clippers has been this smaller unit. 
So this is something Coach Lai is going to have to, Coach Lou is going to have to monitor this smaller unit with Jokic on the floor here for Denver. Another tie, number 12, and Leonard and George. And Caldwell Pope will defend. Shot clock at five. Paul George. What a shot. What He's got 27 shot. points. Jokic has 24. Now, Tucker's just going to try to body him. Porter with a three. Tucker with a rebound. And four minutes gone in the fourth. Here's Westbrook. Six rebounds and a couple of assists with the whistle. There, Foul on Brown. Ride the hot hand. Look at the footwork and the fadeaway here by George. So Christian Brown just picked up his third. Porter will check out. Gordon back on the floor here now for the Nuggets. Paul George, double, man, feeds, Westbrook. This is why I love Terrence Mann being on the floor in crunch time minutes. He just makes all the right plays. Clippers have their biggest lead, trying to stop a five-game losing streak. And look for the first win with Harden. Gordon thinking three, man stuck with him. Good move. Gordon with a finger roll and a sweet, sweet dance inside. How about that Euro step there by Gordon? They have some stops in them. Because right now, Paul George is just making it happen, being the de facto point guard. Right to the rack with a great-looking layup in 29. He's got four threes and 29. Game high. Caldwell Pope tries to angle in. George knocked it away. Foul called. With the penetrating move. Under seven to go in the fourth. Here's that Euro step by Aaron Gordon. But even better has been Paul George. 29 points, though. He did just pick up his fourth foul here. Denver. And this is the way Group B in the West looks. Already Denver has won. Clippers are looking for their first win. It all ends up in Las Vegas in the first that handful of days. I believe Dallas lost tonight to the Pelicans. The PD is the point differential, and that comes into play with ties. At the free throw, the Clippers. Yeah. At the free throw line, it's Caldwell Pope. The foul went on George, who picks up his fourth. Denver went up. They were up by two, and they went from that point to down by four while Jokic was out. Jokic is in now with Gordon and Caldwell Pope and Brown and Porter. Here's Westbrook with George and Leonard and Tucker and Mann. Russell Westbrook. Paul George with 29. And now 31, defended by Caldwell Pope. There's nothing that Caldwell Pope can do. He's proud of him, but that jab step was freezing him at the defensive end. Biggest lead for the Clippers tonight, who have not won in Denver since 2020, December of 2020. Jokic, Caldwell Pope, Nicole takes it in. That's a foul. Look at that. Look at that. And who made the play? P.J. Tucker. Second on Nikola Jokic. And if you look at the numbers, though, by Jokic, his points decrease come fourth quarter, right? He usually gets off to good starts in the first and second quarter, but for whatever reason, his scoring declines in the fourth. Nuggets are unbeaten at home so far, 6-0. Jokic in this half is 0-4 from the field. Leonard works on the second-year player, Brown, with a series of moves, fakes, dips, shoots, scores! Ah, Kawhi, 13. And remember, they're doing all this with James Harden on the bench. Brown, oh, 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 oh. Flight one can land! Pretty pass and a great finish. Let's see if the Nuggets, though, can come up with any stops here. Westbrook and Christian Brown. Shot clock in single digits as Tucker gives to Kawhi. Gordon is there. Three. 
It's missed by Leonard. It's picked up by Caldwell Pope. Porter was trailing on the play, and they'll set their offense. Christian Brown with the whistle. B.J. Tucker was down there. How about the alley here by Brown in the oop by Porter Jr. Left hand finish. Tucker just picked up his first personal foul. Harden is coming back in. Brown leaves for the Nuggets. And Harden in for Westbrook now. Does that mean they trust Harden late in games like this more than Russ? Well, I mean, a guy that averaged 11 assists just a year ago, and he's having a really good game offensively with those 21 points. Best teams look best. The team has looked since Harden has joined him. Jackson with Kawhi Leonard on him. Shot clock at four. Look how much he forced him to the three-point line. Tucker pushes and Jokic shoots, and it rattles out. That close. Rebound. All oh, they're fighting for with man and Gordon. Man, hand-to-hand -hand combat. How did that ball come out by Jokic? I, I, did you looked, see that? It was um, uh, it was in. Shot clock running down. A desperation one-legged fadeaway oh. three touched every inch of that rim and came out. They called the jump ball between Mann and Gordon, and here you see them ready for the toss. Nuggets have it. Jokic on top. Tucker is on him. Caldwell Pope, shot clock at five. Here comes Jokic. He spins on George and gets it to go on the doorstep. Because they had to run a high screen and roll to get P.J. Tucker off of Jokic. Paul George was guarding him. See if Michael Malone goes back to that. Harden with 21 and four assists. George, long two, no rebound man. Now Tucker, Clippers control. It was deflected. Oh, that's, oh, that's over and back. back. That's over and back. Harden is trying to no, say it was deflected. No, no, they may overrule it. They may change the call. I don't know if anyone touched it, though. Yeah, no one touched it. That should be over and back. You sure Porter didn't? I think they said Porter just touched it. Watch. No. Watch Porter's no, hand. they may want to take a look at that. If, yeah. they, if they can, re they can't review it. No one touched the basketball. Oh, I, his finger looked like it was moving, Reg. Does it? Yeah, it does. Wow. They cleaned it up on the floor. George will make a move, and Caldwell Pope is defending the shot clock. Is it two? He's got a fire way outside. No. Rebound. It's clutched onto by the Nuggets, and Jackson at the controls. Reggie Danson. You got to get a screen and roll to get Tucker off of Jokic. And they do. And now Mann is on Jokic. Tucker will be in back of Mann. Down goes Mann. Here comes Jokic. And put up and in by Gordon. Michael Malone is livid right now. With the official. It's a one-point game. 3.47 to go. 6 nothing. Nugget run. Number one, Zubac got into foul trouble, so they had to go with small ball. In comes P.J. Tucker. He made a couple of those threes, and that's kind of been the difference here now. What does Coach Lou do in adjustment now with the bigger lineup on the floor with Jokic? It's still that smaller unit. It looks like Tucker is out. Terrence Mann, Norman Powell on the floor here to go along with James Harden, Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard. George will bring it up. His 31 leading all scores in the game. Denver has four of their five starters in double figures. Man, wheeling inside, Leonard lost the ball on the dribble, then fights for it, it's out of bounds, and it's off of Denver, and the shot clock is at eight. Boy, that was almost a turnover off the foot there 
of Leonard right into the hands of Reggie Jackson who just couldn't corral it. This game is beginning to hit its stride oh, in the man. second half and especially in the fourth quarter. Hey, this is a must win for the Clippers. Harden for the fire. Jackson on him. Gets one inside man. Outside. Powell three. Good. Norman Powell cans a tray. He is the fourth quarter scorer. That was a big shot and a four-point lead for the Clippers. Now here's Jackson. Man will greet him. It's Jokic and Leonard. Takes him low, carving his way with a whistle. Foul on Leonard, sending Jokic to the free throw line, where he is 10 of 10 tonight. What a big play by Norman Powell. Knocked down that corner three, but again, undersized. And Zubat, after that fourth foul, has not re entered the game here. Double double for Jokic, 26 and 13, and 11 of 11 from the free throw line. Overall, the Nuggets tonight shooting 51% from the floor. Their offensive rating is number five. Their defensive rating is number six, the Nuggets. And if you're wondering why the Harden trade, it's for situations like this. To play alongside Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Harden got the screen, weaves his way. Shot clock with Jokic on him is at nine. Harden and Jokic. Doubled by Caldwell Pope. The drive by James. The tight inside. Out of bounds. It's Denver's ball. 2.44 to go. Boy, he had a step on Jokic and just couldn't finish. Scoring to a strong end. Denver can tie or take a lead right here. Two and a half to play. He's going to send help. He, all he's going to do is back down and get a foul. George defending. Jokic is shooting. Missed it. Up and down for the tie. There's no size. There is absolutely And if you're not going to send help, he's going to get what he wants. The Nuggets on a 10-3 run. Gordon goes out on him. Harden right now. Jackson is defending Leonard. Shot clock at four, triple team Leonard, out to George, shot clock at one, shot clock violation, what I mean, defense by the Denver Nuggets. That is outstanding Whoa. defense by the Nuggets. Reggie Jackson, one on one, no help, versus Kawhi Leonard, beautiful of moving his feet. And as we mentioned, Jackson the one taking the place of the injured Jamal Murray. And he has not disappointed. Has it now with man on him and back to Jokic. He was defended by Paul George. Here comes the help. Now you've got advantage. Caldwell Pope inside for the lead. Gordon. Count it. Foul. And that's the problem. When you play small, if you elect to come double, you're going to open it up to a four on three situation. Beautiful pass by KCP. Fighting Gordon underneath for the potential and one. Norman Powell picked up his fourth personal foul. Gordon is at the free throw line with an ID is two and two with 15 points, five rebounds, and six assists. Big night again for Aaron Gordon. And plenty of time here for the Clippers. No time to panic here. The Nuggets run a 13 to three run the last four and a half minutes. George three. Rebound, Powell, another offensive rebound by the L.A. Clippers. A three foul by Caldwell Pope. Before the three-point shot, sending Paul George to the free throw line for two, not three. Before he was aiming and shooting. Looks like they're bringing back P.J. Tucker. Tucker, yeah, going to come back in with George at the free throw line and the foul. It's on Caldwell Pope for the third time and at the free throw line is Paul George where he is three of three. And you assume that Tucker is going to come in and embody the Joker down low. So if you're the Nuggets and, and Michael Malone, you got to rub that 
rub screen. Just a simple side screen to get Tucker off of Jokic because Tucker has bothered Nikola down low. Roman Ball checks out with 14 points on seven shots. Just a rub screen. Tucker is out there. The Clippers are small and Jackson oh, drives. Everyone was anticipating that down screen for Jokic. And Reggie Jackson absolutely taking the ball to the hole there, catching the Clippers sleeping. It's time for a straight talk wireless timeout. Attention Walmart shoppers, get a Walmart Plus membership, plus not pay for it, because now it's included with Straight Talk Wireless. Yeah, Walmart Plus gets you free delivery, giving you time to spend with your family or people you like. And a Paramount Plus subscription included, so you can stream me. Walmart Plus even saves you money on gas. We, we can go on a family trip. Vegas, Vegas. Only Straight Talk Wireless gives you unlimited 5G data and Walmart Plus on select plans for free. Available at Walmart. Reggie kept talking about the five consecutive losses of the Clippers, how they're bit by bit putting together some of the pieces since the Harden trade. We're seeing it tonight against the defending champion. And what we're seeing is going to put fear in a lot of teams because now you're seeing the identity and what they can do in close games because they've got three guys that can finish plays. Paul George, James Harden, and Kawhi Leonard. Now, Kawhi hasn't shot the ball particularly well tonight. I'm more interested in can they get stops right now down three with the ball you're the Clippers you know you can get any shot you want but defensively can they stop the Nuggets Denver trailed 99-92 with 545 left in the game since that time the Nuggets have outscored the Clippers 15 to 5 110 to go Norman Powell is back in. Tucker is out. Powell inbound. Leonard's got it. And Gordon is on him. And Kawhi with a beautiful fadeaway. That's his patented shot. It's a rebound by Jokic. He's got 15 of them. Jackson, man defends. Indy Jokic, dangerous pass, Gordon cleans it up, Gordon cleans it up. <laughs> oh man, there's Gordon. George the other way, two, no, loose, picked up inside by Jackson. Denver on a 17 to five run. Jackson held, man did the holding. With 31 seconds to go, and this crowd in full throat. And again, I, I know Jokic will get the bulk of the headlines, and rightfully so. But Aaron Gordon, Reggie Jackson, down the stretch here. This is championship basketball. And what they experienced just a year ago during the finals, going 16-3 and on their run to winning the first championship in franchise history, these guys have all grown leaps and bounds because of that experience. 18 for Jackson. And his first miss from the free throw line. 18 points in 11 shots. And all without Stewart. him. Yeah, Think about without that. Without him. Here's Jackson against his former team. He played over 200 games with the Clippers from 2019 to 23 and came here Late last season, missed them both. Leonard's got it. Five-point game, 30 seconds to go. Kawhi, Porter defends. Leonard tries to free himself and does, and he misses the jam inside with a shove and a foul on Denver. Porter has got his third foul. Clock at 22 seconds. Oh, it was the push in the back by Porter Jr. It wasn't Jokic. They it want was to challenge. The... I think. I think they're going to challenge. Yeah, but it, from that angle, it looked like there was a push in the back there by Porter Jr. 
A challenge by Michael Malone with a five-point lead in 22 seconds to go with the NBA on TNT. All stands, it is a foul, and Porter picks it up. So unsuccessful challenge here by Michael Malone. Porter through the hand in the back by Porter Jr. affects Leonard's ability to finish at the rim, and the challenge is unsuccessful. There'll be two free throws for Leonard. Denver no longer has a timeout, and they've lost this challenge, the ability to challenge the rest of the game. That's our crew chief, Josh Tiven, in his 14th season in the NBA. Leonard at the line where he is one of two. With his 13 points on 14 shots in 38 minutes. have not lost a game at home all season in the very short number of weeks we've been underway they are 6-0 full court pressure it's Jackson Jokic Caldwell oh, with a steal by Leonard picked up by George in the paint to the rack and he got it to go and it now. is a one point game with 15.3 Denver uses the timeout and Kawhi what Leonard steal by with his fifth steal of the evening right here that creates the Paul George opportunity to close this deficit to one. In this league, you are never, never out, of ever out of it. You are never it's the ever beauty out of it. The beauty of this league. in this game. Let's go, six man! Moments ago, Caldwell pulled as he's walking to the huddle. Looks like he may have been cramping. 
in that right calf area. He's in. Gordon will inbound. Denver holding on to a one point lead. Jokic doubled, sandwiched, fouled. Powell, his fifth, and two seconds off the clock. We're down to 13 in regulation. A 12 of 12, perfect night at the stripe for Jokic. 30 points, 16 rebounds on 23 shots in 35 minutes. Don't forget the nine assists. The other number I want to bring up there, here comes Zubats. He'll take the place of Powell. And you mentioned it, Kawhi Leonard, five steals tonight in a big one moments ago. Clippers have a timeout. Denver's out. And L.A. takes the timeout, down by three with the ball and 13 seconds to go. Well, number one, if I'm Coach Lou, you got to get Norman Powell back on the floor here for the Clippers. I assume Zubats will come back out. And remember, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, all three of those guys can create their own shot from behind the arc. And then you add their ability to drive and dish and collapse the defense. They can find a Norman Powell, who just moments ago made a big three in the corner here. Franchise. So, so if you're the Nuggets, do you elect to foul here? Play the free throw game. Play the odds. There are the three-point shooting leaders tonight for the Clippers. Michael Malone had a premonition before the game. This is what they would face tonight. Like we talked about a minute, they lost five in a row. They have not won a game on the road yet. We don't lose at home. Right? Jump on them. We know we're getting a desperate team. Jump on them, win the first quarter. Together, one, two, three. Yeah. Great job by our folks in the truck. Going back to what was the theme tonight. Harden will inbound. He's got Zubats. He's got Kawhi Leonard, Powell, and he's got George. 13 seconds left. Powell, George, Caldwell Pope is on him. Paul George, this could tie it. Of all times to get it! <laughs> At the worst time to get a wedgie. Oh, oh this will be a jump, a jump ball. ball. It is a jump ball. By any two on the floor currently. Well, this is not the worst thing for the Clippers. It's good to have Zubox, who was on the floor here, a jump ball. Because that was not going to be good. Can he get it to Norman Powell? Still a lot of time left, and in a scramble situation, you never know. You never know. Here it is. Here we go. Jokic had it, knocked off to Jackson. Heaves the ball. Zubac's tried to get it. Claimed by Caldwell Pope. It's over. Denver has survived and won. Undefeated at home, 7 0. And the Clippers lose their sixth consecutive game. And oh, in six on the road. Playing the defending champions right down to the end. Well, we saw championship experience from a lot of guys on the Denver Nuggets, but we also saw from the Clippers side a glimpse of the future of what could be once they round everyone into shape and figure out those defining roles. Over the last half of the fourth quarter, the Nuggets outscored the Clippers 19-9 and win it by three. Let's send it over to Chris Haynes. I'm here with the Joker himself. Joker, that was a hard-fought victory. Yeah. What did it take down there in the stretch to get this game? I mean, uh, we needed the rebound. We, we, uh, KCP played really good defense a couple, couple times in a row. Uh, and uh, we executed. We, we scored. We, we made a couple, couple, uh, couple important baskets. And uh, at the end, of the end we, we won the tip. Can you take me through your mindset when the Clippers, they're not playing with a lot of bigs. They're throwing a lot of smaller guys at you. What's your mindset in those type of matchups? I think that's advantage for us, you know. Uh, 
you know, if they're going to send a double, if they're going to just play straight up, I think that's advantage right away. So uh, I think we did a good job today. Um, I miss, I, to be honest, I missed a couple open looks and a couple easy, easy, easy uh, hooks. But that's, that's, um, it's okay as long as we got a, a win. We can definitely tell the intensity is up, is ratcheted up in season tournament. What it, what what has it been like for you thus far? Yes, I mean uh, they they lost five in a row. Uh, they, we know they're gonna play really aggressive. They they didn't quit. They fought, uh, but we, we we are undefeated undefeated at home. So and we wanted to keep like that. Joker, congratulations, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Jokic had 32 points and 16 rebounds and nine assists. Paul George led the Clippers with 35. Harden with 21. Leonard with 15. West Group B standings 2-0 Denver. And their point differential plus 14. The Clippers sixth consecutive loss and in the in-season tournament realm 0-2 and a point differential of minus 21. Our producer Jeff Randolph, our director Matt Lip, our senior associate director Donzel Floyd. Our associate producer, Sammy Powis, graphics coordinators, Carlton Griffin, and Elizabeth Crafton, statistician Brian Taylor. Now for Chris and Reggie Miller, Kevin Harlan saying goodnight from Denver, sending you to the award-winning Hall of Famer, Ernie Johnson, Jr.